creating files and directories. In this lesson, we will cover how we can create files and directories, different ways to create files. The first one is the touch. Now, touch command creates a file that is, of course, an empty file. The second way to create a file is if you are copying an existing file and creating a, a new file at the destination location. And the third way to create a file is through VI command. Now, VI is our editor, which we will, we will cover in detail later in the lessons, but I will cover quickly how we could create a file using VI. Creating directories, the easiest way to create directory in the command is MKDIR, which is make directory. So now let's get into our Linux machine and we will use every command listed here as a practice to create our files. Okay, the first thing we have to do is to find out what user ID we are logged in as. So you do who am I? And we'll tell you you are logged in as yourself. And then the second thing you have to know which directory you are in. And I am in my home directory. Now I have I will be creating uh, a few files and as your homework I want you to create those files and directories as well. The first way um, to create a file here's here I have a list of files that I will be creating. We will use the first command to create a file would be touch. We'll create touch space. I have here Jerry. Hit enter. When you hit enter and you get the prompt back, that means your command worked. Now, how do we know where is that file? You do ls minus l, and you'll see here the directory you have is right here Jerry. Sorry, the, not the directory, the file. Now I want you to create another file. Touch Kramer. Again, check if it's created. Yes, it is created, Jerry and Kramer. Now I use the option ls minus l, which will list all the files and the directories in an alphabetical order. Now if you wanted to list all the files or directories that are created, it, um, when it was last modified, you will use ls minus ltr, which means give you everything by the timely order and in reverse, meaning the oldest one at the top and the newest one at the bottom. When you hit enter, you will see Jerry was the first one that was created, followed by the Kramer. Next one we are creating is George. How do you verify that file was created? You do ls, l. Now these files can be changed or renamed or moved, but we'll go to the next uh, set of files to create. Uh, I want you to use this time the copy command. So I want you to use copy, jerry, and then the destination file I want you to be lex. So do ls minus ltr. So what exactly it did? It copied this Jerry file and named it Lex. I want you to do the same thing for Clark. So copy Jerry or Kramer or whichever file and do Clark. Same thing, copy Jerry and Lois. Now let's verify we have all those files. There you go, we got all six files. So now three files we created with touch command, three files we created with the uh, copy command, and the rest of the files we'll create using VI. Now remember VI is a very tricky, so I will only create one file, and we will cover the VI later. So VI space Homer. So hit enter. Once you hit enter, it will bring you to 
file editor now be very careful what you type in here because you will not be able to get out if you really don't know what you are doing so at this point I just want you to do shift colon W as in right Q as in quit and exclamation point which is also re referred as bang hit enter the file homer is created how do we verify it let's do ls minus ltr and there you go the homer file is created now the other three files um, i will create by the touch command now you will notice you don't have to run touch command over and over again you could run the touch command just once and do bart space lisa space m-a-r-g march so now with this just one command it will create three files so hit enter verified all three files bart march lisa all of them are in this directory now uh, the next step i want you to do is create directories within your home directory so just do pwd just to make sure you are in home directory then from here you do mkdir space Seinfeld now the directory is created because you got you got your prompt back how do you verify it ls minus ltr and you see at the bottom that's where the directory is created and if you notice uh, some of the Linux distributions also change the color for you so this way it will be easier for you to identify which one is the file or which one is a directory same way I want to create another directory mkdir superman and again you could also do the same way uh, instead of running uh, com one command after the other you could just run uh, one command and followed by two different directories so the second directory we have is simpson simpson and hit enter once you hit enter again do ls minus ltr see all three directories at the bottom and you have all your files right here listed here so this is the way you create files and directories in your home directory if you try to create a directory in let's say slash or somewhere else where you do not have permission it would tell you that this directory um, you do not have sufficient uh, rights to create that directory so let's take an example if you go to CD slash Etsy and I want to create a file here let's call it um, test one two three and hit enter it's gonna tell you you do not have permission to create that file in there because we don't own slash who owns the slash root owns it and you are not root who are you you are yourself in this case I have Saul again we learned three four commands touch copy vi to create files and the last command we learned to create directories is mkdir